Researchers at the Helmholtz Center in Braunschweig, Germany, are working on a new method to speed up the test of drinking water. Today, the analysis of water quality usually takes several days, but with the new technique, the lab work could be done within a day. Statistically, drinking water in Europe is the safest in the world, but according to the World Health Organization, there are more than 300,000 reported cases yearly where contaminated tap water has caused an infection. HEMA, in December 2012, hundreds of inhabitants of this small town in western Germany are hit by a mysterious gastrointestinal disease. The photographer, Oliver Pohl, is one of the victims. In December, I was suffering from severe vomiting and diarrhea. I was so dehydrated that I had to go into hospital. Out of the blue, we were told that our drinking water is contaminated and we're not allowed to use it anymore. Three months after the first case of infection had appeared, an intestinal parasite named giardiasis was identified by the health officer of HEMA. Scientists across Europe have now joined forces to stop such long delays and make water monitoring more effective. Within the European research project Aquavalens, the scientists started to study the microorganisms likely to contaminate our water. In a second step, they will develop new molecular methods for a speedy analysis of water probes in the laboratory. The water is sucked in from a pump and then passes through this filter. They are very thin and their defined pore size will make sure that the bacteria will be stuck on them. Later we extract the DNA of these bacteria and use them for molecular analysis. This way we can assess which kind of pathogens are present in water. The research is ongoing. The next steps will include the development of a comprehensive analysis tool, which will be tested in field studies. In five years, their work will be completed. The contamination of drinking water can always happen in any region. The new efforts by scientists should help identify the origin of the problem much more quickly and therefore also reduce the number of victims considerably, so that people like Oliver Pohl are warned much earlier and thus avoid a painful and potentially even lethal infection.